Independence Day 2 Resurgence. So this film takes place uh, 20 years after the, the first movie, and this time with a bigger ship. Okay, uh, after watching the first trailer, after watching the first trailer, I was kind of excited for this uh, film to the point I was very very excited for the film because uh, how Jeff Goldblum was saying that they have been pre- preparing for their second coming so they have to de- uh, strengthen their defenses with alien technology and then here it comes the big mama is here and I, that is the selling point for me for the film to make me go and watch this film and when I watched this film it was a total garbage you cannot imagine how much garbage this film is i was so excited and it let me down so horribly okay let me lay it down for you the first half of the film was great the the building up was good until when the alien okay when the alien came it was still fine uh, something like that but the second half until a certain point from of the film until the end it was so pointless it was so so boring i the, the action doesn't even make sense all you here was visual noise i was like sitting there yawning all the time that's how i feel at least it it doesn't even freaking make sense i want to talk about the characters for a while every characters the actors are fine in a way the way they portray is fine you can say but how the script written for the characters it was very horrible you have no uh emotional build up you have no character development the emotional between one character to another is so bland that it doesn't make the film interesting you have to think about it this is like end of the world situation crisis you have an alien mothership trying uh, came came to earth trying to wipe out the whole human being and there's no emotional build up between one character to another seriously you're going to die and then you are not crying or whatever at least the first film, at least the first film, you have more, more feelings to one another. But this one, I don't feel it at all. Okay, I have to give cre- uh, credit to uh, for this film, the CGI. Actually, the CGI was fairly well done, but I cannot say excellent. The reason why I don't, I am not giving it the excellent point because you still can feel it when you see an object, you know that instantly is a CGI and it's not, it's not real. Whereas in some other films like Warcraft, when you see, you know, even though you know it's CGI, but it's so real that it makes you believe. But this film, it doesn't deliver that well. Honestly, I, I cannot recommend this film because there are certain part of the film that I felt like it's a total waste, it's a total rubbish, it's so garbage to the point that it doesn't even make sense. I don't even know why it has, it happens in the film. It, it doesn't really make sense at all. I was like, why is this even there? If you take away those parts and develop more into their emotional uh, build-up, that would make even more sense and it could end up a better film. But the problem in this film is that I don't feel the emotional connection. I don't feel the seriousness in the film. Or I can feel like this. Okay, you have to think about it. A big mothership as, as it's like that and then you're going to be wiped out and then the, the, the spaceship just just sits there just like that and then doesn't do much at all it's not un- unlike the first film where almost destruction every single city now that's interesting but this one is really really off i really felt like this is one of the worst sequel i've ever seen the first one was did fine but this one it should have been an unnecessary sequel at all to the point in certain point of the film really shows that it will we will have another sequel there's should, some of the stuff that you shouldn't have introduced or even put in this film you should have invested in their emotional script writing instead but this one was like so garbage I, I cannot stand it at all. The second half really ruins the entire film for me. I'm sorry to say that, but I will give points to CGI only. So I, I'm I'm sorry to say that I really cannot recommend this film. So I'm going to give Independence Day 2 Resurgence a 1 out of 10. I'm really sorry guys. I can really cannot recommend this film. This is this literally just became my number one worst movie of the year it was so disappointing it was hard to watch it, it doesn't really make sense at all i i mean it has no build up no emotional connection whatsoever i'm sorry to say that so i think uh, i think uh this is my rating so 
what you guys think of the film maybe you, you can check my other links uh, and then subscribe to my channel and let me know if you guys enjoy uh, Independence Day resurgence yeah and I'll see you all next time